My cycling trip with the surfboard was nearly going to the end as Sydney was getting closer. The rain was on and off, so I was waiting for the shower to pass. A turtle was trying to cross some busy road, so I just turned it around to the forest. My kickstand was broken, so I couldn't help moving far from the road. I moved a bit where I could leave my bicycle. When I went back to it, the turtle was gone. Good job, mate. The road was getting busy as I was heading to the bigger city in Australia. I just had to rest when the weather became clear. I usually take a ferry to cross. This helped very much that I could avoid a busy road. The entrance was big enough to pass without removing bags. Here I arrived in one of the bigger cities in Australia. I haven't seen any big cities since I left the Gold Coast, so it was fun to see big buildings. But that hill didn't look fun at all. I already have dinner before going to the hostel because I would be too tired to cook tonight. After finishing it, I found the I got a flat tire. What a wonderful fishing skill. While fixing it, it started raining again. All day the weather was like this. I found the hole to fix. I don't recommend this kind of sticker patch as it's not good. Traditional patch is much stronger. Due to a flat tire, I had to cycle when it was getting dark with the rain. The hostel was noisy and people smoked everywhere, so I moved to another hostel near the beach, which was fully booked before. I've used many different hostels since COVID. This time, I booked a four-bed female dormitory room. The bed price is around 25 to 35 US dollars. Nearly all Australian hostels had this metal bunk bed. It's like sleeping on a sailing boat that is shaken easily if one person turns around. So I feel so lucky that I was the only one using it at the moment. Every hostel is similar in that I have to make the bed by myself and bring a bed sheet to the reception when I check out. There's one more bed sheet which I put between bed and Yuna. While sleeping, I usually lose this bed sheet and just use Yuna. Hostels keep reusing Yuna cover without washing. I don't know how often they wash Yuna covers. So I prefer not to use it if the night is not that cold. This hostel location was so good that the beach was just one block away. I heard there was surfing competition. I was so excited to see it for the first time. I found the best spot to watch right next to a cameraman. The waves didn't look good for surfing, but everyone was really good. I heard it was a local club competition, so it was a team game that mixed women, men, kids. I couldn't understand how kids were so good at surfing in that rough sea. I'm not joking that if I tried to surf there, I would have drawn quickly. This black team won the competition. They are very cheerful and look very friendly to each other. I wish to join any sports team club like that once I settle down after finishing this trip. I walked to see another beach and this place looks like it had a bit better wave. On the way back, I had grocery shopping. I had to wait for the shower pass. When I went back to the hostel, the rain became so strong. I love this discount food so much. Later, my female dormitory room became full. Every morning, I walked to the beach with a cup of coffee while staying. The waves were too big for me to surf, so I went down to the another beach to surf. The closer I was to Sydney, the clearer water was. I feel like this region had a similar water cleanliness like Gold Coast. I went to fishing a few times in my life, but to save fish was for the first time due to my habit of saving animals on the road. Life was just full of contradictions. I decided to sleep out of the town after staying one week at the hostel. I kept meeting one cyclist while I was looking for a camping spot at the mountain around the sunset. He asked me if I was alright. I answered shortly and trying to go away. I got scared easily and nervous around the sunset. Around the dark, I found a really nice spot. There was lots of rain in Australia this year and the mosquito repellent didn't work. So this time I bought a mosquito coil and it was much better than repellent. I was sure people would come here early in the morning, so I must leave before the sunrise. Sun was about to go up and I tried to pack quickly before someone found me because you never know what kind of person you will face. I just came down to main road and had a break and coffee. And a little fun with my surf skateboard. I found the caves on Google Maps so I stopped to look around. 
To cycle on the road is sad sometimes. So I often saw this roadside memorial next to the road. Every roadside memorials were different. This was the one I saw in Ecuador. I heard the bus had crashed and every heart represents for passengers died. In Bulgaria, to see snacks and soft drinks made me so sad as they looked too young to die. When I was cycling in a remote dry out bag in Australia, this one word made me so sad. And this would be in my memories for a while. Sometimes I had to cycle back and forth to visit beach towns as there was only one way that was often very narrow and busy. But this was worth coming. This beach town was clean and very organized. The sea looked so beautiful and I could see surfers. Usually I got accommodation first and go surfing later. But this time I would just leave my bicycle out there and go surfing. Look at this beautiful watercolor. My camera bag was still right there after surfing. It was avocado season. My lunch was bread, tuna, avocado that cost less than $3, which was very cheap in Australia. After lunch, I just had to relax at the beach and had a usual chat with the lifeguard. I appreciate Australian lifeguards so much. Thanks to them, I could enjoy the beach safely. And this was the reason why I didn't stay at the camping site because someone offered me their holiday house to stay while they were away. I appreciate so much when people offer me this without even meeting me. Today I found a nice trek. I had such a difficult time finding a camping spot as I was really close to Sydney. After pushing my bicycle up a very hard hill, I finally found a perfect hidden place. First thing to do was light the coil because mosquitoes were crazy. I was beaten so badly on the way up here. I was carrying a coil while taking the ground and this was much more effect than repellent. There was a weird creature on the ground which I have seen recently at the other places. I thought it was a caterpillar. It was so weird that it climbed my leg this time and I had to remove it. I was building the tent while holding the coil like I was having ceremony. And time to cook. Thanks to the coil, I can cook without worrying. This was the best steak I've ever cooked. After dinner, I found this weird creature coming to the tent again. I got horrified after searching online. It was a leech. In South Korea, it's only around Paddy, so I never knew there is leech on the mountain in Australia. Especially due to lots of rain this year, now too much leech in Australia. What if I'm covered fully by leech while sleeping? But after I removed them, I didn't see any leech coming. So hopefully I could survive tonight. Here morning came and I survived without being covered by them. I wanted to celebrate my new life by making coffee and breakfast. This morning, I was trying to come to my tent again. I searched about them more online and I was so amazed. Leeches are blood-sucking parasites, but it has been used in medicine to draw blood from patients in the past. But still, I didn't want to be bitten, so I just kicked it away. But here another leech came and climbed my shoes. 
Leeches don't give pain when biting, so you can't notice. Leeches find the host by feeling vibration with their hairs on the body and simple eyes. So I guess if I don't move, they can't find me. No way! Don't try to hide in my shoes. Here I found you. It's so slow moving though. It attaches so strongly that it was difficult to remove. Go away, mate. I got to pack to leave this place. Again, that's on my tent. I must be honest that I did enjoy learning about their life. How amazing this creature is. Zero pain while biting, a special chemical to make the blood keep coming out, can survive for half a year after having just one meal, finding the host by detecting vibration, no spreading disease, unlike mosquitoes killing one million people every year. This was the most amazing creature I've learned but I didn't want to see them again in my life. It was quite hilly, so I just carried heavy stuff one by one. My kickstand broke recently. Actually, I could use a pedal as a kickstand if I'm careful on the slope. I succeeded in putting all the luggage with the pedal standing. I was happy to leave this place. Flores larva was a fun thing to do, but Flores leeches was horrible. Today, I will reach Sydney and my trip in Australia will be finished. It's always so satisfying to throw garbage away once I reach the town. Suddenly, I felt something cold on my ankle. <laughs> there was a leech. Look at this fat leech. This must come from this morning. I didn't kill it because I didn't want to see girls blood pop up. And somehow, I respect this creature's smart way to survive. Later, when I stopped at the market to buy some food, I could see there was more blood coming out. So all my research were right. Here I was having a brunch to refill the energy after losing the blood by a leech. Today I was taking the ferry again to skip the busiest road. I must admit that Sydney was one of the most beautiful big cities in the world. When I had a rest at the park, I got so shocked to see more bleeding that my shoes became red around my ankle. I thought there was no more blood after the supermarket. This leech was crazy. If they were everywhere, all the animals would be extinct now because we never know when they are biting and blood keeps coming out. Left side of surfing board rag was moving and it made it very difficult to cycle as surfboard blocking turning right. Screw hole was worn out so I just used glue. This angle was good so that it would not bother my handle turning around. I should have fixed it for a long time ago. Anyway, it helps this afternoon and also while staying in Sydney. Taking a ferry saved my time, but there were big hills, so I pushed my bicycle several times. I've stopped at the beach and checked the surfing. It seems like all the beaches around Sydney were quite rough for a beginner. So far, Gold Coast was the best for my level. To cycle into a big city was quite stressful. Finally, I was near my destination. 
I will stay near the surfing beach before leaving Australia. I was just the right time to board the Korean presence at the Korean Embassy in Sydney. Since I arrived in Sydney, the rain has never stopped. I never missed the election while traveling the world. South Korea had several dictatorships over 40 years from 1940s, just after Korea was split into two countries. So I love current democratic so much and I would like to keep my rights by voting to keep this freedom. Actually, the rain was really horrible. I have seen rain every single day due to El Nino while staying in Sydney. Even there was a very bad flood. Definitely it was horrible weather for surfing. This was such a pity as uh, Sydney's watercolor must be so beautiful in general. Later, I sold my surfboard and surf skateboard. I tried to book a flight ticket to which I had planned to go before COVID. It was finally time to leave Australia.